In ever-expanding multiverse when it comes to the Inhumans, well, where do I even begin? Their level of brutality in Marvel Comics is going to introduce some fresh and mind-blowing concepts to the MCU, adding a touch of perfection to the cinematic storytelling. Brutality in Marvel Comics has been a recurring theme, and it can be a powerful narrative tool when translated to the MCU. Marvel Comics has a long history of exploring dark and brutal storylines. Iconic characters like Wolverine, The Punisher, and Deadpool are known for their violent and morally complex actions. These characters have found a place in the hearts of fans due to their multifaceted personalities, which often include shades of brutality. Marvel's depiction of brutality frequently weaves into moral complexity, compelling characters to navigate tough choices with far-reaching consequences. This moral ambiguity enhances the stories, rendering them more engaging and relatable. In Marvel Comics, brutality is accompanied by repercussions. Characters engaging in violence often confront personal, ethical, or legal consequences, mirroring real-life scenarios. This dynamic creates captivating drama within the MCU. Brutality serves as a catalyst for character evolution. Characters commencing their journeys as ruthless or violent can undergo significant growth and transformation. This character development theme remains central in MCU films, affording viewers the opportunity to witness these characters' evolution. Introducing inhuman brutality can bring fresh and exciting concepts to the MCU. The Inhumans' unique powers and their society's complexities can open doors to explore themes of power, oppression, and the consequences of extreme actions. Incorporating brutality from Marvel Comics into the MCU can enrich the storytelling by adding layers of complexity, character development, and moral dilemmas. It allows the MCU to evolve and cater to a broader audience while staying true to the essence of these iconic characters. In this scene, Black Bolt utters a single word, enough, which triggers the release of his destructive voice. The sheer force of his scream obliterates the surrounding area and decimates the enemy forces. It's a moment of incredible power and brutality, as his voice is so potent that even a whisper can level a city. This scene not only showcases the raw power of Black Bolt, but also highlights the potential for inhuman brutality when pushed to its limits. It's a striking example of how the Inhumans' abilities can be both awe-inspiring and terrifying, making them a force to be reckoned with in the Marvel Universe. Now, that being said, let's not forget how our Scarlet Witch managed to ruffle the feathers of the MCU's Illuminati. I mean, talk about a hex gone wild. But not brag. But Black Bolt is considered one of the most powerful Inhuman in comics. 2014 marked the peak of Marvel Mania, setting the stage for these heroes to transition from comic panels to film frames. During a Phase 3 announcement event, Kevin Feige unveiled an Inhumans movie for 2018, sandwiched between Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. However, in 2015, the deal between Sony Pictures and Marvel over Spider-Man's rights reshuffled the movie slate, pushing Inhumans to 2019. Parallel to this, the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV series began adapting the Inhuman storyline in Season 2. It introduced characters gaining superpowers from Terrigan Mists, but the royal family was absent from the series. Vin Diesel, famous for his muscles and geeky enthusiasm, sparked intrigue when he hinted at a major Marvel project. While eventually cast as Groot in Guardians of the Galaxy, Diesel campaigned to play Black Bolt, given the character's silent nature wouldn't conflict with his Groot role. His persistent interest in the role has intrigued fans throughout the Inhuman saga. The reveal that Terrigan Mists were lethal to mutants led to a conflict between the two hero factions, a central theme in Civil War II. Despite these efforts, Inhumans struggled to gain the same popularity as X-Men comics. In April 2016, the Inhumans film was quietly removed from Marvel's slate. Disney's acquisition of Fox's rights to the X-Men and mutants added uncertainty to Inhumans' future in the MCU. A TV series was released in 2017, but it failed to resonate with audiences or critics. Recently, the lines between canon and non-canon in the MCU became blurred. In Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, an alternate dimension features the Illuminati, including Black Bolt, portrayed by Anson Mount. This muddles the issue of Inhumans' continuity. Is the TV series canonical but in an alternate dimension? What about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Could Vin Diesel still become Black Bolt in the main continuity? The multiverse introduces complexity 
and Marvel faces the challenge of reconciling these inconsistencies. The popular Inhuman hero Miss Marvel is set to debut in the MCU, potentially shedding light on Marvel's approach to these characters' convoluted history. We can only hope they handle it humanely, or should we say, inhumanely. One actor from Earth 838's Illuminati suggests that they could join the ranks of Marvel alumni, reprising their previous roles in the MCU against all odds. Despite their characters meeting their demise in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, one of the actors who portrayed an Illuminati member hints at the possibility of returning in a future MCU installment. While the Illuminati's deaths in the film may seem final, the multiverse opens up intriguing possibilities, as indicated by Anson Mount, who portrayed Black Bolt. In an interview with Radio Times, when asked about the potential for a return as Black Bolt, Mount neither confirms nor denies it, but leaves the door open for another MCU appearance. His response was, If the answer was yes, I wouldn't be able to tell you, but the answer is no, so I can. I've had some informal conversations with the powers at Marvel, and it's a conversation, but they've got their current phase that they need to do. With numerous MCU projects in development, and a growing trend of actors revisiting their roles, the idea of Anson Mount and other Inhumans actors reprising their roles, thanks to the multiverse, is not far-fetched. While newer characters and multiversal heroes may take precedence early in the multiverse saga, Black Bolt and the Inhumans could make their return sooner rather than later. The most likely MCU projects to feature Black Bolt post-Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness are Avengers The Kang Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars. In these events, the Illuminati, the Inhumans, and other multiversal characters could join forces with the Avengers in their battle against Kang. The precedent set by Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness makes a full-fledged Inhumans and Avengers crossover a plausible scenario, especially in an event as monumental as Avengers Secret Wars. Although other MCU projects like Loki Season 2 and Deadpool 3 delve into the multiverse, Anson Mount's comments imply that they might not include a Black Bolt appearance, as he hasn't filmed new Marvel footage for these productions. However, there's also a slimmer possibility that the Inhumans already exist within the MCU's primary universe, waiting to be unveiled. Marvel Studios altered Kamala Khan's origin in Miss Marvel, distancing her from the Inhumans and connecting her to the X-Men through mutant genes, which hints at the MCU's avoidance of the Inhumans, at least for the near future. In the grand tapestry of the MCU, the possibility of revisiting the Inhumans post-multiverse saga emerges as an intriguing narrative thread. There lies the potential to unveil that Anson Mount's portrayal of Black Bolt and the Earth-616 Inhumans have been quietly present in the background, akin to the enigmatic Eternals. Anson Mount's impactful rendition of Black Bolt in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness lingers in the minds of fans, hinting at the tantalizing prospect of his return. While definitive plans for the Inhumans in the MCU may not be etched in stone, the boundless opportunities offered by the Multiverse Saga make a Black Bolt resurgence seem increasingly plausible in the years ahead, rather than waiting until after Avengers Secret Wars. That's that. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.